Good afternoon, it's Emma from Quigley & Co. Today we're here to show you this six bedroom detached property, which is located in Hartlip. So I'll just give you a quick view of the grounds um, while I explain the gavel process. So if this is your first time joining us for a gavel, if the video buffers at any point, do not worry, the whole live stream is recorded. And if you, and if it does, Sorry, you can ask us questions as we're going around as well. So I'll try and answer as many questions as possible. If there's anything that I'm unable to answer during the live stream, I will come back to you afterwards. So I'll just show you the driveway. So this is your main road that you come in from. Obviously got your post box there. And then you come down this driveway and I'll just actually walk you round just to give you a real feel for the property. So we're coming down there. There is another residential property um, just directly in front. However, you obviously can't see that. So you're still nice and secluded. So the property is located just here. You are potentially able to park your car on this section here however you must be um, aware that there are some farming vehicles that will be using this track and you cannot obstruct their way so as long as you park smartly but other than that you have got plenty of parking down here so this is all parking for your vehicles so this is the rear of the property. I'm just going to walk you around to the garden. So you do have this added space. You've got this as a front garden. Um, it all flows around really nicely. If you're not a keen gardener, the landlord has offered to cut off a part of the garden if it's a bit daunting having this much lawn. Um, so I'll just show you where we're proposing on doing that so from where the washing line is to show you the boundary so this is obviously all of your garden if you wanted a large garden you would require a sit down mower so from this section here he would be happy to fence this off the landlord would then be responsible for the other section and you would just have this smaller lawn area so he will be flexible on that point depending on how green fingered you are so now let's head on inside the property is empty currently so it's ready for a tenant to move in there is still a few small maintenance bits that are being carried out within the property so we have set an availability date from the 1st of October. So we're straight inside. You've got this lovely welcoming entrance hall, chandelier light. It's really spacious in here. We'll just turn you around so you can see the front door. You've got the panel dooring so it does let in lots of natural light as well, which is nice. Then turning around to your right, this is your main lounge it's a beautiful room overlooking the lovely garden and then you do also have that stunning brick fireplace which has got a log burner as well You've got these beautiful chandelier lights and the wall lights as well so it feels like it'll be nice and cozy in here in the winter months um, all of the ground floor does have um, underfloor heating as well. So if you're wondering why there's not radiators in the rooms, that's why. So this is the one of the bedrooms. So all of the rooms are really great size doubles. You've also got a wardrobe in there as well. So someone has asked a question about outside storage. There is a shed, which I'll show you. Sorry, if I miss that out, um, I can show you from the kitchen window, um, which you'll have use of. 
so this really spacious hallway and then we'll turn you right into another fantastic size room all of the rooms are painted really neutral um, most of the property has been newly decorated as well so in here you've got that lovely grey but in a lot of the rooms it's magnolia so it's ready for you to just put your own little touch on so you've got three ground floor bedrooms so this is this used to be the master however you can obviously have it as you wish this room does benefit from a ensuite shower room and this is also where your boiler is housed as well so in here you will find your basin your AC, and then you've also got your shower directly in front you've got this great size double wardrobe so and then your family bathroom so you've got this beautiful roll top bath the toilet seat is also in the process of being um, replaced so that's one of the jobs that are left to do so really lovely size room and then you're into this fantastic size dining room so i can imagine having many dinner parties in here what a great use of space or you can have it as a second family room really whatever works best for you because you have also in the kitchen got plenty of space um, for a dining table so you're not restricted to have to have in this as your dining room as you'll see now this huge kitchen so just while I remember I'm going to show you the shed so the shed is directly outside um, where the parking was um, and you'll have use of that Okay, now we're coming back inside. Just appreciate the size of this kitchen, all of that cupboard space. You've got this beautiful range cooker. You do also have an integrated dishwasher. You've got this wine rack, all of your wine bottles. <laughs> And then the window looks out onto your rear garden. It's a beautiful views as well. And the freestanding fridge freezer will be removed prior to the start of the tenancy. And then we're going to take you upstairs. So we're going back through the dining room. Through this lovely spacious hallway. And then we're going to head on up the stairs. So on this floor, you will find further double bedrooms. So I'll take you into this one. This, depending on whether you want your master to be on the ground floor or the first floor, this also would be a fantastic master bedroom got lots of space you do have the vaulted ceilings but the benefit with this room is you've got this lovely walk-in wardrobe so I'm just trying I'll just put the light on so you've got all of this shelving you've got lots of shoes this is perfect for you Got that hanging space. So this is just great use of space. So that's another bedroom. Then you have got this lovely Jack and Jill bathroom, which you share with the adjoining bedroom. So again, lots of built-in storage. Got a heated towel rail. Got nice window letting in all that light. Then you've got your shower 
and your basin. And you've also got a WC in here. And then into the adjoining bedroom. This is great if you do also have children for them to have a shared, a shared bathroom. So even the smaller rooms are really great sizes. And I'll just give you a view out of the window, that lovely garden. So regarding the internet speed, I would have to ask the landlord. They have lived in this property previously, so they should be able to answer that question. Um, so I will come back to you after the live stream. And then into your final bedroom. So in here you've got this little cove area. And that is the end of the live tour. So if anyone does have any questions, I'll just walk back downstairs as I explain the application process. So if you did want to apply, it's advisable to email um, and you can email into rentals, which is R-E-N-T-A-L-S at Queely, Q-U-E-A-L-Y dot co dot uk. We will require all adults over the age of 18's full names and email addresses. So as an example, if there are three adults moving into the property, we would need three separate email addresses. Please don't send the same email for three people as we can't submit an application on that. And we would need all adults full names. So as mentioned, the property is available from the 1st of October. It's currently being marketed at £2,000 per calendar month. The landlord will consider a pet. So please also ensure that you specify on your application what pets you have, including the breed. And we will hopefully have an answer. We ask if you're requesting an application that it comes in today. Um, and then if applications can be returned by tomorrow, then we can go through them with the landlord to give everyone a fair chance. So just like to thank you all for joining us on this live stream um, and we look forward to hearing from you. Thank you.